It's almost like the media keeps trying to tell you how bad the economy is without ever using facts. I got some facts for you. Here's a relatively new paper. Almost 200 years of news-based economic sentiment. They quantify the positive and negative sentiment in media reporting about the economy. Going all the way back to 1850. Zooming in here, you can see the dip of the Great Depression, followed by the FDR recovery. It peaked in 1960 and has been in a steady decline ever since. It was lower under Reagan than than it was during the Great Depression. What they find in the pink line here for the non-economic news is that this is a general trend in media overall, not necessarily how they're reporting about the economy per se. So what's going on? The biggest hypothesis is increased competition and a little shortcoming with human psychology. Because we watch or click a whole lot more of something when it's negative. There was this Russian local newspaper called The City Reporter that didn't want to say anything negative for an entire day. So you'd get these headlines like, no disruption on the roads despite snow. And how did this work out? It lost two-thirds of their readers. Let's talk about gas price coverage on TV. Nobody cares about it if the price is below $3.50. But higher than that and the TV coverage ramps up. If we just cared about rising prices, this thing should be a whole lot smoother, not having this kink at $3.50. Weird part is, is for the past 20 years, it's always been at the nominal $3.50 price. This is 2017 to 2023, then the five years before, and then 2004 to 2007, you can see the kink always happens around $3.50. But because of inflation, $3.50 in 2007 is worth $4.95 today. Which means if we would have had the same media environment today as we had back in 2007, there wouldn't have been an uptick in gas price stories until the price hit $4.95. That would have been about one month's worth of a negative gas price story rather than nearly a year. And hey, maybe they run a lot of stories about gas prices coming down. Except, no, consistently for 20 years, 70% of gas price stories have been negative. So the lesson, my friends, is that headlines are not reality. You need high-quality data and a representative sample if you really want to know what's happening in the world around us.